Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day, night, or afternoon, whatever time it is for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be going over the controller setup on the new Steam layout. A lot of you guys have been asking, uh, av actually, before I was in my last apartment. So, it has almost been a year now. Uh, I think I owe to you guys uh, a new video, an updated video with the new Steam layout. So, this is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. We're going to go through everything that I could possibly think of uh to get you guys set up on controller if you guys did want to play tarkov on controller do i recommend it absolutely not uh it is pretty bad uh but for those out there who just have a grudge against mouse and keyboard for some reason or you think that the game will be a lot easier with a controller versus mouse and keyboard this video is definitely for you guys or if you guys were debating on buying this game because you didn't want to learn mouse and keyboard uh, this is a video for you guys. Uh, this is definitely going to help some of you guys out learn to play on controller. Uh, like I said, I do not recommend it at all. Um, but, you know, if this floats your boat, then so what? You know what I mean? Hopefully it helps you guys out and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It helps tremendously for the channel. And don't forget, forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you guys don't miss videos like this one. Uh, but without further ado, let's hop into it. So first and foremost, you guys want to um, go to open up Steam, go to your library, uh, click add game, make sure you guys click add non Steam game. You're going to scroll through here and find your uh, BSG launcher, which mine is right here. So after we do this, uh, this is pretty much set up. We're going to go here to big picture mode. Make sure you guys have your controller plugged up. I am using the uh, Elite. No paddles. The paddles don't necessarily work too much. Uh, the reason for that is on the Xbox Elites, the paddles just replace the buttons on the face. So uh, you are not actually adding more buttons. You're simply just replacing the paddles with buttons on the face. So you, you don't necessarily need them. After you guys added it, added BSC to your game launcher, you're going to scroll over to uh, Battle State Games, right? You're going to click play as if you were, and then you're going to click over here to the controller. Okay, so now whenever you guys go to, uh, you click your layout, you go to search, x -Blaze. There we go. You guys just search x -Blaze. It is the only one up. You'll be able to select a this controller and... And do what you guys need to do. This is for Xbox controllers. Obviously, it works for other stuff. Um, like, for instance, you know, PlayStation controller is simply identical to an Xbox controller. There's nothing different. All the buttons are the same. Um, obviously, like, X is in a different place. Uh, but, like, if you guys want to go through and, uh, you know, fucking copy these, right? Like, LT and RT, they're going to be the same. A is just the the bottom one. Hey, come on. Like, you guys know what a PS4 and an Xbox controller is. Um, they're completely identical. You could use literally whatever you want. Honestly, if you wanted to use a fucking Wii remote, you could. You know what I mean? Uh, you want to use uh, some weird, right? Like a fucking RC car controller? Nah, I don't know. I'm not that smart. But controllers work, man. Controllers work. Um, so enjoy it. Hope you guys do. Um... And we're going to hop into the raid now and show you guys some examples as to what does what. And hopefully you guys do enjoy, man. Peace. Now, my controller layout is x -Blaze, Tarkov, Xbox, x -Blaze, Tarkov, any of these. Uh, the current one that I have is the Tarkov Xbox, x -Blaze, the your modified layout for this game, this one right here. Um, I believe it is public. If it is not, I can figure out a way to make it public and uh, hopefully throw a link in the description for you guys uh now with this layout it's it's pretty simple a's jump b is to interact maybe open doors stuff like that x is to reload y is to swap guns obviously lt is to shoot rt is to uh i mean lt is to aim rt is to shoot um and that's that's pretty much straightforward with this obviously you can go through and change all your keybinds if you want to like 
for instance, clicking my right stick in is uh, crouch and prone. So you can go through here. Uh, like you click your right stick, X shoots two commands. Command one is C key. Uh, long press, which is X. X is my prone in game. So obviously I'll click and hold it and I'll go prone, kind of like tactical in Call of Duty on controller. Um, and then like clicking it once will make you crouch, kind of like tactical and Call of Duty on controller. Uh, so you can kind of go through these, you can adjust them however you want. Um, I prefer my layout. My layout is best for me personally. Uh, I think it is the most simplistic. The only things that are not on this layout are um, fixing gun jams or inspecting weapons whenever you do have a gun jam. So you're going to need a controller close by for that. Um, but I don't really get too many gun jams because I am not one to really live long enough to jam a gun. So uh, it's not really an issue for me. Now, with all of this set up, all you need to do is go back go back and you're on this screen again again we're gonna go back one more time you're on your recent games you're gonna find the battle state games launcher which you added through steam you uh need to go and add a non-steam game and find your launcher that away uh then after you open big picture you'll see what i see you're gonna find battle state games launcher you're gonna click it you're gonna click play and then it's gonna load the launcher and then you can use your controller even if you wanted to. You can mouse or controller, either or. It, it, it really doesn't matter. We're going to use my mouse simply because it's easier and I have terrible stick drift. But after we click play, uh, you're pretty much all set up. The game is going to load up and you're pretty much controller support from here on out. Um, I do recommend using a mouse and keyboard to get a kit together. Um, it's very slow. It's, it's very, it's, it's seriously not ideal to use a controller in this game. So just so you guys know this, this game is not controller supported whatsoever. You have to go through some hoops to get it to work. Um, however, if you want it, it's here and I'm, I'm here to give it to you guys. So pretty much we're going to go through and, uh, we're going to go into an offline raid. I'm going to show you guys kind of like how everything works, what works and, and, what my preset does for you guys again we're at the main menu using the controller here uh you can click character scroll up scroll down so yeah we're gonna go into an offline game i'm using controller right now just so you guys have a, a good understanding as to uh how bad it is to do this um meant to go offline here we are all right, so we're loading into an offline raid. Scavs are enabled. I have no audio. I'm probably going to die, uh, but I'm going to do my best to give you guys a breakdown as to uh, what buttons do what here. Do uh, free look is your LB, so you can look one way or another. Obviously, the sprint is to click the left stick. I'm about to die to a scav. The heal is your left on the D-pad. I believe if you uh, double click left, then um, it is a painkiller. Gotta try it. Yeah, double clicking is a painkiller. And then long pressing left on the D-pad would be then your six, which is your hemostat usually, or my hemostat. Um, sensitivity is really, really slow on this. It, like I said, it's not ideal whatsoever. Um, but if you guys want it, it's definitely here. Um, obviously to hold your breath is just left joystick and then to lean right is your RB. And then to lean left is your LB. X is to reload. Up and down is to zero your gun. Your right uh, on the joystick is your laser. Long pressing it changes it. Short pressing it just turns it on and off. And then whenever you're holding your ADS, you just by clicking Y changes zooms
and then clicking the uh, jo left joystick in and then going left and right is your slow lean. Obviously, you have to be ADS, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, you know? Like I said, it's it's fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Um, how to play EFT on controller, man. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. If you guys do, please remember to leave a like and a comment. It helps tremendously. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for being here. Until next time. Peace.